Is the CDC is advising the use of non-medical cloth face covering. U.S. President Donald Trump on Friday said that the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is now recommending Americans wear face cloth coverings on a voluntary basis to stem the spread of the coronavirus. Trump presented the news to the American public himself at the White House Coronavirus Task Force daily briefing, but noted that it's not required. This is voluntary. I don't think I'm going to be doing it. I'm feeling good. I just don't want to be doing, I don't know, somehow sitting in the Oval Office behind that beautiful Resolute desk, the great Resolute desk, I think uh, wearing a face mask as I greet presidents, prime ministers, dictators, kings, queens, I don't know, somehow I don't see it for myself. I just, I just don't. Maybe I'll change my mind. U.S. Surgeon General Jerome Adams said that the CDC's decision to update its recommendation on face masks was made to better prevent the transmission between people who don't show symptoms of COVID-19 but may still carry the virus, where social distancing measures are difficult to maintain, like supermarkets and pharmacies or cities with a high number of cases. But he urged Americans to leave the medical masks to the professionals. The cloth face coverings recommended are not surgical masks or N95 respirators. Those are critical supplies that must continue to be reserved for healthcare workers and other medical first responders as recommended by the current CDC guidance. The task force still says that the most effective overall approach to slowing the spread of the coronavirus is social distancing and maintaining a gap of six feet between people, guidance that will remain in place until April 30th.